All right, so as it turns out, there might actually be a pretty simple solution, at least until the firmware gets worked out, the palettes get twinked, uh, tweaked, excuse me. Um, but what's going on? I've got this test pattern displayed on both the Game Boy Color and the uh, IPS kit for original Game Boy. And you can see on the original Game Boy, it goes white, light gray, dark gray, black, right? That's how it's supposed to look. Let me... Uh, you kill that light and that light so you can see the screen's a little bit better than that light, apparently. So you can see, light, darker, darker, darkest. On the DMG, we have light, darker, less dark than darkest. Um, I have a few ideas for fixing this, and uh, hopefully it doesn't come to that, but I was fully prepared to uh, go the extra mile on this one. But something pretty simple was suggested, and perhaps that's what I, you know, perhaps that's something that I missed on the original suggestion from a uh, Chinese guy. Um, but anyway, it looks like it might be a pretty easy fix. So let me, bear with me while I take this apart and we'll try it out. Supposedly, all we need to do is just swap a few data lines around. So let's see how easy that is. I still think that the colors themselves might be a little bit too close, or at least the grays. Not technically not colors, but grays. Okay. I'm gonna avoid taking this apart because that's so much easier for me. I need more light here. Oh fuck. My soldering iron was not in the holder when I turned it on. Luckily it was resting on a PCB, so no harm has been done, but... Okay, there we go. I'm just going to go ahead and desolder one of these. So the idea, we just want to swap these two data lines around. Data 0 and data 1. Now if I take my uh, multimeter here, we can see probes connected, continuity. This pin here is connected to this data line here. I want to cut this trace, see if we can't change that. But I'm thinking I'll do it before that via. Just be very delicate. see if I was successful. And you can't see my meter, but it looks like it was. There's no more, no longer connecting up. This one, however, does still connect up. So let's get this wire out of there and do the same thing. If all went well, that is also cut. And indeed it is. Cool. So now, let's make the swap. I'm going to want tweezers.
And that should be it. Let's try it out. Eh, how's that look? Yeah? Yeah? Oh man, that was way easier than I thought it would be. That is wicked. See, the colors, I think, oops, I think they're still a little bit too close, but this is significantly better than it was before. Let me kill that, and let me show you a test image here. That I was using. I gotta boot the Game Boy in left B, or the Game Boy Color at least. And it's just a test image of my cat. And we can compare. I don't have a. Uh, I. I don't have enough batteries to power up the other Game Boy simultaneously, I don't think. I have triple A's. But yeah, I mean, it's still not perfect. I think the colors, I think the palettes could still use some improvement, but it's so much better. Oh my goodness. I like, I like the green one now. And red. And this one. I don't like purple. And that looks funny now. Let's try, let's try it out with Pokemon Yellow. Yeah, see, now that the palettes are swapped, you can see that yellow palette doesn't really work well for Pokemon Yellow, because now Pikachu is pink. Oops. That's probably what I get for not actually screwing this thing together. So other than this palette, though, I think everything looks quite a bit better. I like the green one the most. Oh man. I can't believe I missed that. So, yeah, it looks like that's all we need to do. Cut the trace for these two data pins. From the right, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and seventh pin. These are data zero and data one. I don't know which is which. Cut the traces for the two and then swap them. I'll go ahead and take a, a pic so you can see my wiring. I'll post a link in the description. But hey, that's cheap and easy. It's not perfect, but it's a lot better. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good night. All right, don't, don't tell anyone, but I'm mixing nickel metal hydride with some old alkalines here, but it's, it's just temporary. I found some more batteries. Okay, so what we're gonna do, this kit on the left is, um, it's stock, it's unmodified. This kit on the right is the one that I just fixed. Now I'm gonna run the gradient ROM on both of them so we can compare all the different color palettes side by side. So as you can see, White still white, but my two grays in the middle are swapped. Black still black. So let me. Uh... <sighs> Why did that reset? What the hell? This battery makes really shitty contact. That's super cool. Okay, so I, I, I gotta not touch that. I'll be gentle. Okay. 
So on the next color palette, you know, again, first and last are still the same, uh, but it swapped the two middle, which is exactly what we wanted. Uh, but unfortunately, it does break the uh, cool color palette for Pokemon Yellow. Whatever. That's the only game it looked good with, in my opinion, anyway. So swap on to the next one. I don't like this color palette at all, but it is what it is. Make sure that's focused there. This next one I don't like so much, but you can see the improvement right away. This one I really like on the fixed version. Same with this red one. And then this next this next one is, I don't know, it's like the original olive green or whatever. And it looks a lot better that way too. This purple one looks even worse. Um, technically, they're in the right order, I guess. It's just weird having dark, light, lightest, but whatever. And then back to gray. But there you go. I think that worked out pretty nicely. Thanks for watching, guys.